Alright everybody and welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be taking a look at another brand new 2022 Lemax Tombstone Seesaw. Let's get into it. Okay, so the Tombstone Seesaw, this is another wonderful addition to your village. And as you can see, it is not a house. It's actually going to be one of those table accent pieces. And let me tell you, this could be another bang for your buck, but let's get into the details here. So here we go. It was released, of course, in 2022. And the SKU number off the top is 24932. Now for some dimensions, we have 3.5. 5.4 inches high, 6.50 inches wide, and 3.94 inches deep. So it's really not that tall and it doesn't have a huge amount of depth to it. However, it is decently wide. Product type, table pieces, also known as table accents. And it is made of electric components, but it does feel like to be made of like a resin, a plastic, something like that. But the actual title on the Lamax website is electric components. Now let's talk power. You have two options. When it comes out of the box, you are going to have the pre-given option, which is going to be a battery pack that holds three AA batteries. Uh, and it does draw about 210 milliamps according to the Limax website. That is quite a bit uh, for such a small unit. So I probably wouldn't put this on one of those multi adapters. So you can definitely use the batteries or you can use an adapter of your own, which would be your standard 4.5 volts adapter. Uh, but again, keep it off those multi purpose ones. Okay, so for your switch, it's going to be a simple on off switch as you see up on the screen for you now. And let's talk price. This is where that bang for your buck thing comes in. So I saw pre-orders for Erie Emporium. Uh, I've heard some really good things about them, but they have no affiliation with this video. Uh, it's just where I happened to find one for pre-order and it was available for $32.99. This piece is no question worth the $32.99. So be on the lookout for this one because at that price is probably going to go relatively quickly. So as we wrap up the facts here, I did want to go ahead and read you the little description slash fun story that comes with this little house here. Uh, it's listed on the Lee Max website, so I'm going to do my best to read it for you, but it has some a lot of S's here. So let's see how I do with that. It says it's all about life's deaths, ups and downs in the graveyard with the tombstone seesaw. When the lights go down, spooky town skeletons need somewhere to let off some steam. And what better than a favorite playground activity? By the light of a glowing pumpkin, two skeleton friends make their bones clatter as they pump each other up and down on their moonlight ride. Can they have fun without disturbing the grave's body who should be resting in peace? So there's a the little story, guys. It's kind of cute. A lot of S's. I was struggling my way through it the whole time. Uh, but you are going to hear that I'm going to talk a lot about this little noise that it makes and stuff like that. Uh, the story, I think, is maybe their way of justifying it. I don't know. But the, the little bump noise that we're going to talk about here in a bit... Uh, you know, I, I guess that's supposed to be the bones clattering as they pump each other up and down. Kind of a cute little way of, you know, working the way around it. But nonetheless, we're going to talk about it. So here we go. This thing is absolutely beautiful. And like I said, it's not the biggest piece in the world, but it does have some width to it. And for a seesaw is pretty unique too. I don't recall really seeing many of these, if any at all in Lee Max history. Maybe there is that I'm just not aware of. But as far as modern times, I can't recall seeing one. So this is the one we're going to get. And there's some really cool little features about this one and a couple little, you know, bounce little knick knocks that we'll talk about here in a second. And I don't know if that's even a word, but uh, here we go. So let, let's start from the top here. You are going to see two different skeletons and I'll get them up on the screen for you now. Uh, relatively detailed, very obvious what they are. One has a little hat. Uh, it appears to me like it's a man and a woman, like a little skeleton couple, you know, hanging out in the afterlife, having some fun. Uh, but it was, it's cool because they kind of seem naturally like they're, how do you say it? Like they're naturally sitting there and having fun. You know, that's kind of how it comes across. It wasn't a forced concept. Uh, and the seesaw itself, there's not a lot of detail on the saw part itself, the little wood board. Um, it would have been cool to see a little more detail on that. But for the most part, it's basically just a little plank. Uh, but again, it's about the overall on this one. Okay, so as we continue to move our way down, you're going to see a tombstone that is on both sides. Again, not 
heavily detailed. There's not a lot going on with it, but it does have the signature RIP kind of thing going on. A little skull and crossbones fits really well with the skeletons. Um, and that's identical on each side. Next up, I want to talk about the pumpkin. So the pumpkin's cool. It is a little bit more detailed. The face is very clear. Uh, it's a little dim though. That's kind of the thing about one of those little knickknacks I was talking about. Uh, we're going to use that word the whole video here. So anyways, it's a little dim, but nonetheless, it's cool. And you really start to see it when you hit the lights. Uh, you know, when the lights are on, the purple stuck out extremely well. It's a beautiful color choice. Uh, but the pumpkin didn't even really look lit. I didn't know it was lit until I actually turned off the lights. So keep that in mind. But I don't know. They could be hand painted. So it could be a little different per unit. I'm not sure about that. So you have to look at yours. But nonetheless, that's the current situation for mine. All right. So following that is the ground itself. Uh, again, not too much going on. This is a bang for your buck piece. So you're getting just enough to make it exciting, but not overly like over the top where they're gonna have to put a crazy price tag on this thing. This is maybe even more of a test concept. I don't know, um, but it's really, really cool. Uh, and with that movement of that animation and things like that, you know, this is about the whole picture. And together, I think it's a steal. I'm definitely displaying this piece. All right, so the other thing I wanna talk about, which is probably gonna be the elephant in the room with this piece, is gonna be that bounce that you're seeing on each side every time they hit. So there are little foam pieces that help soften the landing, but it's, you know, it does make some noise. And I did go ahead and record that for you, so I'll try to add that in now. But nonetheless, you know, depending if you use volume on your house and things like that, I'm sure it'll probably become background noise, uh, but it, it is there, guys. That's the thing about this piece. As amazing as it is, the knocking is pretty relevant, and I think that's because they're using magnets. Uh, you know, when one magnet activates, it hits it one way, and, you know, just the opposite with the other. And even though there is a little bit of that foam piece there, it still has to be thin enough for the magnets to connect uh, and ultimately make it all work and function together. So, you know, that's the kind of little thing about this piece. It's going to be that knocking sound. Uh, but past that, guys, the lighting, I want to talk about that, too. That is really exciting. You know, even though, again, there's not a lot because we're thinking, you know, bang for the buck here. So you're getting two little purple LEDs. They could be UV, but I think they're just purple. Uh, they're really nice. And when you hit the lights on this one, they're actually pretty bright. So, you know, this is not one of those pieces that's going to disappear on you at night. And with the lit pumpkin to top it off. I think for as simple as this unit is, I still think it's going to be popular. And it was definitely something that I wanted to review, no question. And I'm so glad that I got the opportunity to do it because I'm going to display this. This is going to be a great addition to a village. And you know what's cool is there's a lot of front yards and things like that that we've gotten over the years, which are all amazing. You can check those out on my channel. Uh, but nonetheless, to add something to that or around that or at a park or something like that, this is going to be that opportunity. Or you can even put it like I've been talking about this uh, on a couple other videos here, the graveyard party. We've been getting a lot of activity in the animation on the party side. I could see something like this going somewhere in that neighborhood. It fits the graveyard theme and look, it, they're skeletons, they're dead, right? So all together, look, here's the bottom line with this piece. Yes, it's simple. But the price tag is amazing. And for what you get for that, it's a steal. So this is probably going to be my, you know, best purchase as far as price goes for this season. Uh, let me tell you, the houses are unbelievable. And if we're looking at houses, that's a whole other conversation. But as far as accent pieces that I've seen so far, this is probably the one that I would say is a must have. You know, there's figures, things like that, that are here or there. Some people love them, some people don't. But when it comes to, you know, table accent pieces, this one is really cool. So I think you'll like it. I'm going to go ahead and hit the lights on this one. Uh, it will be in my village. So so you'll probably see it in another video at some point later on in the season. Nonetheless, let's take a ride on the seesaw. I want to take a huge shout out to Lamax for making this video possible for this early release. It's been so awesome working with them. And secondly, I want to send a shout out to today's sponsor, Weffy's Closet. It's a great place for all of your jewelry needs, and she's been an awesome supporter of our channel. So with that said, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. And as always, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.